Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bright Ops, and welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. Where, I will admit, I did look up how you meant to break this particular curse. Yes, Detective? I have solved this murder. Yes, I know. Wait, what are you getting at? The victim was stabbed by you with a katana. Out of... Two per... For the current to protect someone or something. You're a fool! A fool! I gave you great powers of deduction and observation. I gave you the power to bend back the skin of the world and sniff up its insides. How dare you waste it! You really want to live without this power? You really want to live in the dark? Yes. You're a fool, and I won't sully that ring on the finger of a fool. To give it back now. I don't. De you don't deserve it. I curse you. So, did that curse effectively try to bribe you into not destroying it? That's a very. That's a little disconcerting. You look at the key that once harbored its shadowy magic. It shimmers in the light. Let's see. Yep, 50% item drops. You check your finger and your pockets. No mysterious owl ring. You are reminded of the great figures of history who wielded incredible power and chose to give it up. You can't think of anyone suspi 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 specifically, but the concept is interesting to consider. Who's someone famous who gave up great power? He's not famous, but my dad never eats more than he needs to at a buffet. I don't remember where I read this, but there's a rumor that Aunt Anne Bol Bolin had access to a tank but chose not to use it. No need, she said. And you know who else had a tank? Walt Whitman. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. If I recall, on the side of the road, it's got hot dog in the gutter. Yep, we got some so some grease. Okay, let's just close this. Use that. You turn the radio to d WGCR and hold ref. Rufus's gadget up to it. The thing clicks a few times and a little needle goes up to a six. Uh, no. Okay, so we've got that taken care of. To the hobo camp! That says you're walking through Ocean City, you encounter a mailbox that's picked over by vandals. We wrote, we righted the mailbox. Let's see, the shut eye cut. Hey, washi. Hey, birds, what's up? Wanna buy this? No thanks, don't wanna get my washboard all sicky. Actually, I've got nothing to ask. Sorry about that. See you around. Let's see. So yeah, I'm afraid I can't pay you back here, but I don't have enough, anything to make decent booze out of. No thanks, Hatch. Okay, gives the moonshine a weird gravel flavor. Okay. I don't think there's a radio. Wait, no, there is. You tune the radio to WGCR and hold Rufus Gadget up to it. The thing clicks a few times and Little Nita goes to up to seven. Then you restore the radio to the way you found it, making your mom proud. Johnny the King of Hobos. Hey, Johnny. What do you got there? You wanna buy this? No, thank you. It'd be improper for myself just to see me sucking a big lump of candy. Suit yourself. So about those secret plans. Well, yeah, been very helpful. Very well. The general outline plan is this. I intend to found an entire city of, of and for hobos. Too long have we chafed under the laws and economic pressures of this land, when what we truly desire is to live life free and to go where we please and do what we will. It will establish a city where the hobo lifestyle is not only possible, but celebrated. Wow, where are you going to put it? One of that must remain a secret. Where are you from? Hoboken. Of course you are. That's off of my telephone. Okay. So with that... I believe there are radios around. 
No, not up here. Okay. Was there one at the junkyard? You know, if I'm going to be providing range support, maybe I should practice a bit while we're we're relatively uninhibited. Some are relatively uninhibited. Sure, I think you can hit that tree over there. Simon picks up a rock, examines it for a moment, pulls a file and some sandpaper out of her toolkit and makes a few minute adjustments to it. Licks a finger and holds it up to test the wind. Puts down the rock and fashions a makeshift ammometer out of some sticks and discarded paper clip cups. Studies that for a minute, makes sure some of her notes in her notebook and does some calculations, then picks her rock back up and lobs at the tree. A perfect hit! How, how about that wind, wind chewed? That was good, but in a real fight you need to be a bit quicker. She gets some moxie. Oh, there is one. Tune the radio. Yep, we've used the receiver on this one. I don't think there's... Well, I think there's one up near the fairy lair. Hey, let's pass over there. Here's your chance to hand over that crate of bandages. Here you go. Here, take these, huh? What are they? What's that for? A case of antique bandages. They'll come in handy. But I can't use them. I'll have to keep them so I can foist them off on another me to close the loop. You're just sticking me with a pointless errand I'll have to do later. Oh, jeez. Were you really such a whiner back then? So much so oh, that you'd refuse medical supplies from your own self? Good grief, how embarrassing. No oh, dummy. Use these ones, and ask Charles Wallace for a crate of old bandages that Murray left in the storeroom. That's where I got these. But didn't you get them from yourself, like I'm doing now? Oh, for crying out loud, were you even paying attention? This is mortifying. If you ever run into the future you again, you're gonna have to apologize to him. No, I use those. Look, just take them. Jeez, you've got a lot to learn about causality. Okay, fine, jeez. Let's see... Close this. Oh. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong... Thinking of the wrong place. Wrong one. Close. Was it the... I think the pet store has one? Hey there, I've got a souvenir from... You got a, I got you a souvenir from Sit. Your future self tosses you a pair of pants. Let's see, the Sit Kitchen Britches. You've already... I've already been to Sit. I could have just bought these myself. Yeah, you did, except you were me. And now I'm giving them to you. Don't forget to go back and buy a pair. To give to myself? Can't I just give him these ones? Yeah, but then you won't have them, so you'll want to buy a new pair for yourself. Which ones are these? What did you do? If you tell me, you won't be able to make that choice anymore. If I tell you, you won't be able to make a choice anymore. This is nonsense. Yeah, it's, it's pretty messed up. How did we I get into the situation? I've been wondering that since the last time I had this conversation. I still have no idea. Alright, see you later. Yeah. Talk to her. Hey, what you selling? Fortunately, I'm totally out of pets. I guess that's fortunate for the pets, though. I have all the pets I need right now. Let's see... I don't... think there was more? Well, let's go... we'll go back to sit real quick. Wander in an, into an empty classroom and find a blackboard covered in complex physics equations. Eternalize them! You study the equations until they become a part of you. You'll have to remember to check that box in your next census form. Okay. Now there's a reason I came here. Yep, we got to 11. I think we just need... Let's see, to-do list. Forge the docu- cook the books, forge the documents, doctor the evidence. Give him the gator cheese. The rat sniffs the gator cheese and retches a little bit. You don't even know rats had a gag reflex. He raises an eyebrow at you in protest, but eventually drags the cheese into his hole and emerges with a ring. 
This ring has five different colors of little plastic gem mounted on it. Reality Shift adds two additional armor to of each element. Thank you, and sorry, I didn't like it either. Threat skeeks as if to say no problem. Okay. No. Actually, there is one. Yes. Okay. I think we only needed 11. Return to Rufus. Russian dancing. With a maggot on my head. It's Rufus. Oh, hello again. What should I do with these ones? Okay, so you've fish scrambled them. Good to know. Give back the receiver. Here's your receiver thingy. I hope it's got enough clicks and boops for you. Thanks, I'll give you a ring when I finish doing the math. Alright. Alright then. Oh uh, yeah, we didn't. Clear that room out. Nice. Well, with that taken care of, we're going to quickly go back. Check the messages. Hi, I'd like to order a pizza to go with no anchovies. Sorry, I must have thrown them up. Wait, Rufus? Oh, hi, Bradups. Can you come to my lab? I nearly finished my quantum communication device, but I need just a couple more things. All right, I'll swing by when I can. Great, thanks. See you then. All right. Wrong one. Alrighty. What do you want now, Rufus? You wander into a science lab, just in time to see several experiments go berserk and break out of their breakers and petri dishes. Or to put it another way, you arrive a little too late to not be in trouble. A large goo beast knocks over a canister of liquid nitrogen, blocking the room's only exit with a wall of freezing fog. Which is impressive, an impressively tactical move for something about four seconds old. All right, let's fi let's fight these things. So what do we got? We got non no Neotonian glob, lumbering ooze, and sinister vapor. That's two of them dead. You won. That'll teach them a lesson about spontaneously evolving r rudimentary intelligence, unidentified chemicals, and sinister participate. You don't know what it is, and you don't know how to find out. No. Right, let's talk to him. Oh, again? What's this last errand? Okay, so I need some way to connect an antenna and some other stuff to this fishman pearl. But a regular antenna won't work. I need one that's magical. I don't like saying magical, but we'll go with that for brevity's sake. I'm with you so far. What I need is an antenna, or at least a steel thing five or six feet long that I can use as an antenna, and has to be from somewhere with a lot of local resident magic or a place magical creatures live. Somewhere like that. Please tell me you have more to go on than that. Oh, don't worry. I know you're busy. So I did some research in advance. I know exactly the place. Oh, thank God. In Grey Country, there's a weird little town full of weird little elf guys called Pekwudgies. They're kind of like fairy tale brownies, except really mean. Here, I'll mark the location on your placemat. See if you can find an antenna or something antenna like there. And when you come back, I'll tell you the next step. Okay, I'm on it. Now, I, someone did mention this. We're going to go for a wonder. Hang on a minute. Clarence is a little is in a flaky state, and I need to make some adjustments. Come, little buddy. Here's a, what's the source of your breakage here? Bleep boop. Oh, is that all? Easy fix. I overfilled the f oh robot fuel. Okay. Wonder again. You wander in an empty classroom, and covered with complex physics equations. Improve them. You add a few new equations to the margins of the board. See special secret, definitely correct equations that you fabricate on the spot. You hear a loud boing sound and look up to see the campus clock tower. Huh, is it midnight already? 
No, wait, no. Oh, wait, no. It just seems really dark because of a huge cloud of shadow bats flying out of the bell ta tower's belfry. Whew, you nearly thought your watch had stopped. Behold the glory of cheese! Admittedly, I can't take more than... They can't do take more than five physical damage at once, but that is okay. For I am not using physical damage. Do some hot. And get rid of the yell. Because one of the bats is confused. And the confused bat is a dead bat. Don't you harm Shelby! Swarm in the right area. Memorize them. Commit all the equations of the memory. You don't know what any of it means, but you know you'd be alright on the midterm. Yes, you start to like, but then you open a few of falls out. Continue with what you're doing. Okay, Department of Estratetic and Forbidden Mathematics, and immediately get lost, despite the fact that it was a single straight hallway without any interceptions. The walls on the floor meet at weird angles, you don't know, mention the ceiling because there wasn't one, just another wall. As you're desperately trying to keep your cool and figure out your way out of here, an office door opens and a cloud of irrational numbers seeps out. So irrational you might it's called insane. Bad numbers. Go back to where you came from. Take that, maths. Go on for the humanities. Obvious cookie. Lose entry. Lose entries. Mechanical calculator. And Shelby leveled up. I guess I'm thinking of the wrong place. Gray County. Heartland of Darkness. Can I talk to you for a second? Sure. Hey, Brad, I've got a couple of things. Cop, uh, got a couple of wiles to spare. I want to check out some of that this oil hardware in more detail. I think there might be using some trick, tasty mechanical hacks I'm not familiar with. Okay, I'm wait here. Simone sets her sights on a fairly dense array of oil drilling equipment nearby and heads off. You crack your knuckles, adjust your goggles, and prepare for some heavy-duty investigation phrenography. It looks like a pretty standard crank-powered pitman arm pump set up. The gearbox is smaller than you would have expected though. You pop off the access panel and take a look inside. Aha, they're using a Gert a Gertberg li linkage and they've cross-threaded it. That makes sense, you can get a bunch of extra turquoise that way, so long as you don't mind the parts wearing out faster. A crafty but far leasable fudge. Good old Clarence. Clarence awaits your instructions or queries. How are you going Clarence? Bleep, bloop, beep, bloop, bleep, bleep, beep, bloop. Good to hear. That's all, Clarence. Let's see. Not that, the, that this is your particular wheelhouse, but shouldn't a burn-off tower be a little taller? By standing next to this thing, your ga your gauge factor is decreasing, increasing dramatically by the second. You'd be shocked to find out if there's any kind of filter in at all in there. Blech. You go, do discover, though, that they're controlling heat flow through the metal by setting their thermal coupler to 17.2 watts per mil. That might make for a winning tweak to your smoldering iron. Now you just have to scrub off all those partially vaporized hot hydrocarbons. 
blurch, blurch. Smoldering iron now applies twice as much on fire. Okay. This looks like some kind of small backup generator. Yeah, it's a backup generator, just to run the extra diagnostic functions on the, on, on the burner tower, as far as you can tell. Why don't they just capture the waste heat and power it with that? Highly inefficient. These engineers are total jerks. Total jocks. Yeah. This might must be a generator they used to run the dir direct. Oh, bogus. They're penny pinching their fuel mixture. And these bearings haven't been serviced in eons. Way too much friction between the caram and the flinge armature. This is heading for a cat catastrophic fail state. If they don't get hell of maintenance in here, they're gonna they're really gonna get the loose they lost they deserve. Oh hey, a lunchbox. Wonder what the lun what the lunch mode parameters are for the for these oil company guys. Ah, a cornbread sandwich. That's gonna be a real crock, frankly. No structural integrity and too alkaline for the in for impulsation of the mayo. A real Critation misfeature. Your opinion of these company bozos just went way down. Seems like you've learned all you can from this setup. Final analysis, these guys aren't totally brain damaged, but they clearly don't care about efficiency, longevity, or tastefulness. This is a particularly flavorful flavor of engineering you've come to associate with government jobs. Yep. Hey, Simone, find out anything interesting? Well, I'm pretty certain Helco is run by or at least working for the government. They're blowing too much money for it to be a purely corporate scheme. Huh, I guess that counts as interesting. What are you expecting? That these oil wells are all over old graveyards and they're secretly drilling for the ghosts of people's dead grandmas? Oh man, that would have been an pretty awesome though. That would have been pretty awesome, yeah. Continue onward. What's this? Ooh, who knew Ford even made a Model T limousine? Someone has tied the car to the hitching post, presumably as a joke. This old man is fiddling intently with some kind of clockwork thimbajig. Excuse me, hmm? He looks up at you with a squint of someone who hasn't used to focusing on anything more than six inches away. Can I ask you something? I don't get a lot of conversation practice, young man, but last I knew it was standard to lead off with an introduction. Oh, sorry, my name's Brightops. Wedlin Lee Guti. What's your question? Hmm, let me think. Whittle continues to take with his device. What, what are you working on? Oh, just a little thing I've been keeping myself busy with. What does it do? Nothing on account of it being broken. Typically, that's what makes such an such a thing interesting. But I find need a replacement part, and there ain't much going ain't out much getting around that. What kind of part? Mainspring? Not usually a problem, but I need a clock counterclockwise one. Kind of rare. Why not just flip a regular one upside down? Well, no, ain't that clever. See that flange there? Um, yeah, that's why. Maybe you can find. Maybe I can find you one. Oh well, now, I ain't expecting much, but if you manage that, I would appreciate it. Is there um, a clocks park store nearby? I used to buy parts off the doll make a doll maker named Glilmore, but that rat's Hellstone bought out his mortgage and foreclosed on him. Ran the fellow off without even a buy or leave. At least I assume that's what happened. It's no idea where he went. House is still there, but it's real spooky now. Spooky? What happened? Well, nothing really. Just when there was a fellow there acting like talking doors are normal, they seemed normal. When he ain't there, they don't. Anyways, it's down the road for a spell if you feel like having a look-see. The old Gleomore place. Remember, what I need is a counterclockwise mainspring. Okay, I'll have a look. Ask about Hellstorm. Who's that Hellstorm guy you mentioned? Uh, the fat cat oil baron who's been going around buying up every patch of dirt big enough to drill a well into. I ain't, I ain't want to talk about him. He'll get his soon enough. What's, what's that mean? Don't mean nothing, just an old man talking old man crap. Huh. I'll be seeing ya. A woman with long silver hair and a sultry smile are chatting with a burly woman wearing an eye patch. Long lashed eyes sparkle at you behind her spectacles. Her voice is a purr. Hi there, sweet thing. I'm Lola. Lola Kimid Kim Mundi. Nice to meet you, I'm Bright Ops Greywood. Care to do a lady a little favor, Bright Ops? What kind of favor are you looking for? I'm desperately thirsty, but I need something specific. A glass of milk. Milk? A charming young man named Milkman Stan used to deliver the best milk in the county, but he's disappeared mysterious, vanished mysteriously. The last anyone saw him, he was making a delivery to the Dextill place. Could you find him for me, pretty please? Her eyelashes flutter as she makes puppy dog eyes at you. Sure, happy to help. I knew I could count on you. Here, get, let, let me give you directions. 
Bring me back a glass of milk once you find him, okay, sweetheart? Okay, leave it to me. What are you two talking about? Oh, old friends and co-workers and so on. Xena and I used to spend a lot of time reminiscing about them, but eventually it became clear we were just telling the same stories over and over. So we simplified it to just the names, made a little game out of it. Whoever says Norman Cr Mr. McCrescent first wins. Huh, okay. See you around, Lola. This burly, burly old woman looks like she could kick your ass despite her age and her eye patch. She, lo she looks up at you, down with a narrow dot. Da and down with narrowed eyes, and gives you a slight nod, apparently deciding you aren't a threat to be immediately pulled into the ground. Um, hi, I'm Bright Ops. Xena Wakefield. Nice to meet you, Xenia. You look pre reasonably capable. Got time to run a quick errand? What kind are you talking about? A farmer Mac named Mac Macmillan Keddy borrowed something from me, and I kind of need it soon, that's all. Go get. Come back. Well, couldn't be simpler. My experience is that nothing is ever that simple. Hey, huh, ain't that the truth. I don't expect any trouble, though. Eh, I'll do it. Good, he's directions, he's directions to his place. Just tell him Xena needs her, her paperweight back. Okay, I'm on it. Let's see, while we're... No, not, no, not yet. How'd you get that eye patch? Got in a bar fight back in, seven, in the seven, 17. Wow, you lost a f eye in a bar fight? That's rough. No, I beat up a guy who was wearing an eye patch and took it as a trophy. I wear it because it helps my vertigo. Ah, okay. Who do you keep listening? Listing. In the game Lola and I play, we used to swap stories about people we know, but we've heard them so many times, now we just say the names. First one to say Norman McCrescent wins. Oh, okay. A car-shaped pile of rust. And a rusty toolbox, with a miniature blowtorch and a scrap of metal. The door is barred from the inside, you'll have to look elsewhere for your tack. Oh, fish. You didn't catch anything, but Buzz learned some tricks from the locals. Buzz the Mosquito gains five plus five to damage and healing. Okay. Seeing a lot of B these BBs just crossed out. I heard that there's a really neat old windmill near nearby here. Wanna go have a look? Are you planning to disassemble it and make a helicopter? Well, I wasn't, but the old hand mill. We'll, can, we'll go there. We will go there eventually. The old Gilmore place. Nature's bounty is being violently extracted by this monstrous machine. Let's see what's inside. Nothing but junk mail. There's a page of what appears to be a diary tucked to this tree. Dorothy keeps giving me socks with holes in them. She can't possibly be trying to humiliate... It humiliate me deliberately, but it's far too consistent to be random chance. Huh. An old plowshare is leaning against this tree. Yoink! Quest item, it's a plowshare and you're keeping it all for yourself. The door says, Benelled Bombproof Shelter Co. and it has a serious combination lock on it. No bomb's gonna take guess that in this one. Nothing happens, so it's not all the zeros. The door is slightly ajar. Nine reps, you can do it. Just nine reps, get in shape. Just lift the bar nine times and you're done. There's a loose page from a diary on the table. Ilda's violin is too loud for me to relax at night, but I can. But if I take it away, she screeches horribly. I wonder if I can find her a smaller one. Bolt the dull size barbell. Let's work out. What a workout. 15. An animate, animate dull doing a workout routine. I'm sure it's fine and nothing to worry about. There's a, there's a book of children's horror stories on this childless man's table. Maybe it's for the dolls. Or maybe it's for you. Yeah, it's for you. Scary stories for spooky children. Stories in the grand tradition of traumatizing ch children with age inappropriate horrors. Grants an upgraded ability, upgradable ability. Nightmare alloy gives spooky armor. A, a crate of dull parts, just a bunch of creepy glass eyes. A crate of dull parts, an entire crate full of horrible little mouths. All work and no play makes eight pages a day. Just eight p p pages a day. The skull is screeching out gibberish on a tiny sheet of paper. The tiny radio produces a tinny sound. 
A page of someone's diary is passed to the wall. Must correct Velma's mechanism, so she'll squeeze the toothpaste from the end of the tube instead of, of the middle. I'm losing a fortune in wasted paste. Huh. Brush for three minutes. The sink is currently occupied by a creepy talking doll espousing the values of good hygiene. Look past it. Oh, look past for the mirror. Nope, bye. A page from the door. Something's dissected with Ruth. She's doing twice as much of everything as she ought to be. I must have gotten her gear ratios wrong. Huh. We can flush that. One of those new fangled plastic handled toilet brushes you've heard about in all the papers. New fangled toilet brush. It's a melee weapon. As long as you don't stand with your back to this, that doll, this seems safe to fish in. You finished, fished up some nasty goo and a cigarette tangled in the line. Managed to reel in a handful of dirty water. And... Last but not least, brief scuffle you were eating another handful of dirty water and a wet cigarette. Always get eight hours of sleep per night. Joel is playing a violin in a way that makes sleep unimaginable. Let's see. Oh, a chemistry set. Doll size chemistry set. Okay. There's a diary page peeks out from under the pillow. I'm stuck in a rut. Every day is the same routine. Eat breakfast, get dressed, brush my teeth, exercise, work on my novel, go to bed, over and over. Always the same. I thought the dolls would help, but they've only made things worse. I feel like I might go crazy. In fact, that sounds like a pretty good idea. I think I'll start right now. Huh. Oh my god, why do goals even eat hearts? That is just pointlessly creepy. Oh, what? oh hey, nestled among them is that spring w Wildenland wanted. Okay. A rubber rubber plant. One of the dolls must be allergic to real rubber plants. You only need two socks at a time. Let's see, a dresser. Hello, dresser. Be addressed it. A leaf from a diary is nestled among the dirty laundry. I don't feel well. I think Gladys put something in my coffee. Not just eggs, like she always does ac always does ac accidentally. I believe this was purposeful. Perhaps I should have based their mechanisms on that strange old doll I found. Perhaps I shouldn't have based their mechanisms on that strange old doll I found. Grace, I wonder where she went. Let's see. Just t doll arms. Dozens of little awful arms. All pants. The shirt must be in a different closet. If you're quick, you probably grab some grab those socks without getting eaten by the creepy doll. You grab the socks and feel like a real shock dumb glove for doing it. So, this pair of socks is nicer than everything else you own combined. Moxie and meat drops. Okay. I'm just going to quickly make a note. Wait, we can do that in the to-do list. Personal notes. Write a note. Let's see, nine... Eight, eight, Let's see, so nine, eight, we got an eight in there, four eggs as part of a complete breakfast, your personal notes, nine, eight, eight, Four. And the other one was two, wasn't it? Yes. A talking doll is throwing eggs at you from atop these cabinets. There's one drawer you can reach without having to get too close to the doll. A match and a battery. Looks like someone left the stove on. Oh, that's nice. The warm hands. Someone has posted a picture of their diary to the wall here. Abigail loosened the pins on my barbell. I nearly dropped it on my head. She de she's definitely trying to kill me. I think they all are. Hellstorm can have the house and man main property. I'm going into hiding. First I'm going to attack these pages all over the house to make it clear that I'm insane, and then I'm going to go live in my bomb shelter. 
Scratch that. It's a doll shelter now. Huh. Modern fridge. See the contents? Fruity pop. Simple cupboard. See if it's bare. It's bare of everything except cereal. Yeah, fair enough. Doll of, of parts. Doll legs, just left ones. They must not be for dancing dolls. Brush for three minutes. Personal notes. View your notes. Raise this note. Note one, yes. Yes. Write a note. Nine, eight, eight, four, three. Yes. If nothing else, we'll see if it we'll see if this is right. Nine eight eight four three. Nothing happens, it must not be the right combination. Well, he did mention that one of the dolls seems to have been missing. So where has that one gone? Two. There is a two. Shit. Nine line two. Okay. So nine eight eight two four three. Nothing. Nothing happens. Well, let's tr I feel like these are the combinations we the numbers we need. I'm just not sure of the combination. Maybe if we do it in reverse. Three, four, two, three, four, two, eight, eight, nine. Nothing happens. Not the right combo. Hmm. Well, this is maybe from left to right. So three, eight, three, eight, going that way. Next up is four. Then we move to the next, which is eight, two, nine. No. Hmm. Well, I th I'm pretty confident these are the numbers we need, but we'll see you next time. Until then, my name is Bright Ops. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.